All right, I got some great gifts in the mail today. Uh, these are from a viewer, uh, Grace's viewer. Thank you very much. Uh, these are UV LEDs, ultraviolet LEDs, and uh, they're different varieties. Um, let's see here. The shortest one is two, 255 nanometers. Um, and then it goes to 265 nanometers. And then 308 nanometers and 365 nanometers. So if you're not familiar with nanometers, um, the wavelengths of light that humans can see are somewhere between 400 and 700. So greater than 700 or infrared, we can't see those. And anything less than 400 nanometers are ultraviolet, and we can't see those. So uh, these are ultraviolet. So these are the things that give you skin cancer. <laughs> uh, yeah, UV is the most energetic. So um, the shorter the wavelength, the faster uh, the uh, electromagnetism wiggles. And the uh, speed at which it wiggles is the energy. And so if you wiggle faster, that means you have more energy. And so um, ultraviolet uh, radiation is capable of capable of bleaching things. You leave something outside, it'll ble bleach white, or it'll give you a sunburn, uh, or uh, do other do other types of things. Um, one of the things that ultraviolet that we're very very familiar with are vacuum fluorescent um, tubes. So the fluorescent tubes, these days almost everything is LEDs now, but the big four foot long or the little compact fluorescent tubes. Um, they have mercury in them and they have a, a, a gas and they're able to generate about 265 nanometers. Um, and then there's phosphor in the tube and the phosphor converts this short wavelength that you can't see into visible wavelength that you can see. And the tubes are coated such that the infra ultraviolet light doesn't get out and protects you from it. It's just used internal to the tube to make, to make white light. Um, and so uh, the reason that I wanted to get these was to fluoresce things. So I'm going to shine these on different materials and those different materials will absorb these short wavelengths and then re-emit light at longer wavelengths. Um, so yeah, these are pretty nice. Uh, these are cute little boxes if you've never seen one of these before. Uh, there's a hinge on one side and then there's a clasp on the other side and you clasp them and then they open up and they're a clamshell. They have a kind of hard to explain because they're clear. There's a there's a there's a clear membrane here and a clear membrane here. So when you close them, those two membranes come together and squish uh, squish things in between. And so he has it laid out here such that one LED is face up and one LED is face down. So you can figure out which one is which. They come on these star boards, which is a um, a copper clad PC board. Um, which is very nice as well. A lot of these are aluminum clad. And these look to be copper clad. Now I don't know if they're somehow copper, copper plated aluminum, but they actually are copper. They look like they actually are copper. Um, these things are going to get super hot. Uh, he has some of the specs written on the tops of these things. Like, uh, this one is 3.8 volts at one amp, uh, 6.5 volts at half an amp, seven volts at half an amp, and six and a half volts at half an amp. So these are these are power hungry devices. Um, the efficiency is very very low converting electrons into photons. Um, so I'm not going to drive them this hard. Um, I don't need a lot of light out of them. I'll probably drive them maybe at 300 milliamps or something like that. We'll give that a try first. So the first thing I need to do is mount these up because because these are going to get hot. I don't want the these are these are expensive LEDs these are, and they're hard to find. So uh, the first thing you want to do is put these on a heat sink, right? So I was looking around my junk bins and I had this thing here that I pulled out of something. I think it was an old piece of test gear from HP. Uh, oops, and it has some, uh, it has some parts here on, uh, on the heat sink. So we'll get, we'll get rid of those and then we'll figure out if we have enough room to, uh, oops. Everything on this particular heat sink. All right, I think we're good to go here. So we have four LEDs. So one, two, three, four. Um, these have little inset nuts in them, so I can at least use one one half of that 
Um, let me tell you what I'm talking about. Let me get one out here. Oops. Uh, I can actually put the screw in this one just for demo purposes. These are 440 screws. My favorite. All right, so we'll be able to attach one side to the here, and then we'll need to drill and tap a second hole on this side, and then do the same thing here, here, and here, and then we'll have four across. Now I think these probably, yeah, so ground, yeah, I should be able to, Now I'm going to have to use insulators. So I'm going to have to have to have insulators for. So uh, there's these pads next door. I could go in and carve up the PC board. I don't want to. I'll just put some insulators here to hold to hold these things down. And then maybe uh, along the top or bottom. Probably looks like there's more room on the bottom here. I'll put a current source and uh, then be able to turn on the individual, I'll maybe have a jumper block or something so I can select which one of the four I'm lighting up. And we'll have the current source set up for 300 milliamps, and then we'll be able to drive, drive each of the LEDs. So that would look something like, something like this. So I could put, a, put like an LM317 here to regulate 300 milliamps. And then maybe a little PC board with jumpers so I can turn on which one I want. Uh, the other ideal thing would be to have uh, reflector cups on each of these to make the light go in the direction I want it to go. And I may have some. I'm going to have to dig through my bins. I know that I have things that won't work. <laughs> if they were visible light, it would work. But this is ultraviolet light, so you have to be very careful of the material. You really can't use a uh, regular lens because plastic or glass doesn't transmit ultraviolet light. Um, so you need to use something. Um, I'm trying to remember what the correct materials are. I've worked on this before. I don't know if quartz is a particular, fused quartz is a particular material that works or not. Um, I don't remember. But anyway, a reflector cup is hollow inside, so you don't have to worry about uh, having it go through material. If you go through material, it'll get uh, attenuated. It'll also start attacking that plastic or glass, whatever, and break it down. So, yeah, these... Uh, these are going to be hard to package. I don't know what materials they use to actually build these things out of. What window what window do they put on top of these things if it's a fuse quartz or something? I'm not sure. Not really have ever been involved in ultraviolet LEDs. I worked a lot on visible light LEDs, a little bit on, on infrared LEDs, but never on UV LEDs. Those are kind of a new thing. All right, something like that. Uh, I think this will work out pretty good. So I uh, have the longer wavelengths here and the shorter wavelengths here. Um, so I think that's going uh, to turn out pretty good.